Hare Krishna, Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda, Jaya Advaita Chandra, Jaya Gaura Bhakta Vrinda, Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda, Jaya Advaita Chandra, Jaya Gaura Bhakta Vrinda, Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda, Jaya Advaita Chandra, Jaya Gaura Bhakta Vrinda. We continue reading from Chaitanya Charitamrita Adi Lila. We are on chapter 7. We have been hearing the glories of the holy name. Lord Chaitanya has been telling the glories of the holy name to Prakashananda Saraswati. So we read text 85. Panchama Purushartha Prema Nanda Amrita Sindhu Mokshadi Ananda Yara Nahe Eka Bindu Translation by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swamishla Prabhupada, for a devotee who has actually developed bhava, the pleasure derived from dharma, artha, kama, and moksha appears like a drop in the presence of the sea. So yesterday we were hearing dharma, artha, kama, moksha. All these are kaitava dharma. The Vedas, actually most of the, most majority of the Vedas deal with this, dharma, artha, kama, moksha. But, Srimad Bhagavatam immediately rejects and calls all this as cheating religion. Why? Because it's still on the material platform. Still on the material platform. But love of Godhead, love of Godhead is completely spiritual. It is, uh, it is completely spiritual. It is who we are. The soul, every soul has this immense love for God. And one, one stage before love of God is Bhava. So, uh, Lord Chaitanya is saying this bhava, the, the, the pleasure, the happiness that the devotee, that the soul can feel in this, this uh, stage of bhava, it's like an unending ocean of bliss. And where other pleasures of dharma, artha, kama, moksha appear just like a drop of ocean water. You know, just like a drop of ocean water. So we can see if we truly want our heart to be completely inundated with, with love, we just need to revive this love of God that we have. And love of God is there in each and everyone's heart. It's not artificially we have to put something. No, we just have to revive it. Krishna nami rafala prema sarva shastre kaya bhagye se prema to maya karila udaya the conclusion of all revealed scriptures is that one should awaken his dormant love of Godhead. You are great, greatly fortunate to have already done so. So because Lord Chaitanya was telling his Guru, Guru Maharaj, that my dear Guru Maharaj, you told me to chant this mantra. Now, I don't know, I think I've become mad. I'm just chanting, dancing, laughing, crying. And the... His spiritual master is telling him, you have revived your dormant love of Godhead. So you are already, you're very fortunate to have been able to do so. Lord Chaitanya is preaching to us by his example. Prema ras, prema ras vabhave karichita tanu shobha krishnera charana praptye upajaya loba. It is a characteristic of love of Godhead. That by nature it induces transcendental symptoms in one's body and makes one more and more greedy to achieve the shelter of the lotus feet of the Lord. So, one who has revived his love for God, then he will have some bodily trans transformations. These are not artificial, they're not supposed to be imitated. Uh, so, the pure devotee who's really revived his love for God. He will have these symptoms. He's not doing it uh, on purpose. But some, some people do this imitation things and we should be careful of that. You know, like people want to just get um, an imitation fame, artificial fame. So some may do it. We just have to be careful, not carried away. But this is what love of God does. When, when, when a person has revived his love of God. He's in complete bliss. The heart is jumping with joy. It's full of joy. And so that becomes manifest. 
And the devotee wants to have complete shelter. He wants to be with the Lord. He wants to serve Lord, serve the Lord. You know, when we have a loving relationship, we want to be with the person we love. You know, we, we have a loving relationship. We do some things. We want to do things together like that. So like that, we have a loving relationship with God and that relationship is eternal. Premara swabhave bhaktaha se kande gaya unmata khaya nache iti uti daya. When actually love, uh, when one actually develops love of Godhead, he naturally sometimes cries, sometimes laughs, sometimes chants, and sometimes runs here and there, just like a madman. In this connection, Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Goswami says that sometimes persons who have no love of Godhead at all display ecstatic bodily symptoms. Artificially, they sometimes laugh, cry, and dance, just like madmen, madmen. But this cannot help one progress in Krishna consciousness. Rather, such artificial agitation of the body is to be given up when one naturally develops the necessary bodily symptoms. So one may artificially show these symptoms, these ecstatic symptoms that, oh, I have developed love of God. But what use is that? What use is that? Okay, we may get some fame. Some people may praise us. Some people may envy us. Some people may glorify us. But still, we have not developed love for God. So what value is those things then? You know, means we have not yet revived our original relationship with God, our eternal relationship with God. So what value does it have? It has no value. Actual blissful life manifested in genuine spiritual laughing, crying and dancing is a symptom of real advancement in Krishna consciousness, which can be achieved by a person who always voluntarily engages in the transcendental loving service of the Lord. If one who is not yet developed imitates such symptoms artificially, he creates chaos in the spiritual life of human society. So we should not imitate such symptoms because then we are just creating a nuisance. And so we are just being a nuisance in society. Rather, we should be humble and honest at whatever stage of spiritual life we are and sincerely, sincerely hear and chant, engage in devotional service to come to the platform of, actually come to the platform of reviving the of God. Just by imitating or acting, it's not going to give us love of God. Rather, let us sincerely hear and chant to actually come to this this. Uh, this point of reviving our dormant love for God. So did anyone want to say anything till now or add anything? If not, then we'll continue to read. Sveda Kampa Roma Chashu Gadgada Vaivarnya Unmad Vishad Derya Garva Harsha Denya Eta Bhavi Prima Bhatta Ganere Nachaya Krishnera Ananda Mita Sagare Bhasaya Perspiration, trembling, standing on end of one's bodily hairs, tears, faltering voice, fading complexion, madness, melancholy, patience. Pride, joy, and humility. These are various natural symptoms of ecstatic love of Godhead, which causes a devotee to dance and float in an ocean of transcendental bliss while chanting the Hare Krishna mantra. So these are few of the bodily symptoms that a, a devotee experiences. Now somebody will say, I don't want to get mad. I don't want... Of, of my voice to falter. I don't want to cry. But these are ecstatic symptoms of love of God. And if we don't want it, they for sure is not going to happen to us. You know, and the idea is not to 
the focus is not on the symptoms, but the focus is to revive our love for God. That is what the focus is. That we can chant, while we are chanting, we take shelter of the Lord, we plead to the Lord to help us revive this relationship. Srila Jiva Goswami in his Preeti Sandarbha 66 explains the stage of love of Godhead. Bhagavad Priti Rupa Vrittir Mayadi Maina Bhavati Kim Tarhe Swarupa Shakti Ananda Rupa Yad Ananda Paradina Shri Bhagavan Apti. Similarly, in the 69th text, he offers further explanation. Tad Evam Pritir Lakshanam Chita Dravastasya Charoma Harshadikam Kathan Chit Jate Apichitta Drave Roma Harshadike Vana Chit Ashaya Shuddhi Stadapi Na Bhakti Samya Bhavir Bhava Iti Gyapitam Ashaya Shuddhi Nama Chanya Tad Parya Parityagaha Priti Tad Paryam Cha Ata Eva Nimita Swabhaviki Cheti Tad Visheshanam so Shila, Go, Shila Jiva Goswami is one of the six Goswamis of Vrindavan. He was the youngest of the Goswamis and he has written many Bhakti Shastras. And so in his Preeti Sandarbha, he is mentioning this verse. Transcendental love of Godhead is not under the jurisdiction of the material energy, for it is the transcendental bliss and pleasure potency of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So love of God, love of God is not material. It does not belong, it's not on the material platform. It's, it's coming from his internal potency, pleasure potency. And so it is completely spiritual. There's nothing material. It's not, it's not the love that we see in this material world. No, love of God is completely transcendental. It's on the spiritual platform. Since the Supreme Lord is also under the influence of transcendental bliss, when one comes in touch with such bliss in love of Godhead, one's heart melts and the symptoms of this are standing of the hairs on end, etc. So the Lord is always happy. His happiness is not material happiness. The Lord is transcendental. He's always transcendental. So his happiness is also always transcendental. Association is like that. You know, what we come in association with, we take on that color. Association is like a crystal. What or who we associate with, we take on that qualities or the color. So if we associate with God and God is completely pure, completely spiritual, completely blissful and happy, completely full of love, then we will also revive all these qualities which are dormant in us because we are part and parcel of God after all. We are part and parcel of God. So, and when this love is revived, then our heart melts. The heart becomes very soft. And because the heart is very soft, then these different transformations of the body takes place. Sometimes a person thus melts and manifests these transcendental symptoms, yet at the same time is not well behaved in his personal transactions. This indicates that he has not reached complete perfection in devotional life. In other words, a devotee who dances in ecstasy, but after dancing and crying, appears to be attracted to material affairs, has not yet reached the perfection of devotional service, which is called Ashaya Shuddhi, or the perfection of existence. So a devotee may chant and dance in ecstasy, but after that, he's again in the material world. He's again attached to his material affairs, means he's not yet attained perfection. One who attains the perfection of existence is completely averse to material enjoyment and engrossed in transcendental love of Godhead. So one who has revived, who's actually revived his love of God, it's not that he will say, okay, God, I love you for 10 minutes and then I forget you for five days. Then again, I love you for three minutes and I forget you for a month. No, it's not that way. When someone has revived his love for God, then he cannot forget God even for a moment. 
He's always in that consciousness. He's always the feeling of love of God is always very, very prominent. His consciousness is, is completely united with God at that time. It is therefore to be concluded that the ecstatic symptoms of Ashaya Shuddhi are visible when a devotee's service has no material cause and is, spirit, is purely spiritual in nature. These are characteristics of transcendental love of Godhead. As stated in Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 2, Text 6, Savayapum sam parodhar mo yato bhaktir adhoksha che ahay tuki aprati hata yayatma su prasiddhati. That religion is best, which causes its followers to become ecstatic in love of God. That is unmotivated and free from material impediments. For this alone can completely satisfy the self. So religion, religion, religion means to love God. Come to the point of loving God. That is the best religion, which brings us to love God without any motive, without any material desires. It's completely unmotivated, completely free from material impediments. And at that stage, at that stage, the devotee is completely happy. The heart becomes completely joyful, completely satisfied, because that's the natural position. Is that okay? So love of God, that, that's what is the, the, the aim of religion, is to, to, to love God, to help us revive our dormant love of God. So, that is what religion is, and that's what we need to endeavor for when we are hearing and chanting. The perfection of human life is to revive our love for God. Is that okay? Yeah, okay. So we'll stop here for today. Thank you so much for listening and enjoying it. Chaitanya Charita Amrita Ki, Cheshla Prabhupada Ki, Chai Kaur Bhakta Vritta Ki, Hare Krishna.